Let's now solve another problem in subnetting. Let's dive into the question now. The question is, an organization has a class B network and wishes to form subnets for 64 departments. The subnet mask would be, and this question was asked in Gate Computer Science in the year 2005. And the options are given, option A, 255.255.0.0, option B, 255.255.64.0, Option C 255.255.128.0 and option D 255.255.252.0. If we keenly analyze this question, we are going to obviously do subnetting, but this subnetting is not for host requirements. Rather, this subnetting is based on network requirements. What is given in this question? In the question, it is mentioned clearly that the organization is actually having a class B network. And obviously, they want to migrate from the class B, that is the class full addressing, to the classless addressing by subnetting based on the network requirements. How many departments they have? They have 64 departments. So, they need to have 64 networks or subnetworks. So, we are required to subnet accordingly. And that's what the question is. So, obviously, the subnetting is not based on the host requirement in this question. This question is for subnetting based on the network requirement. Let's solve this question now. And we know the organization is initially with the class 255.255.0.0. So they want to migrate from classful addressing to classless addressing with the help of subnetting. So if we convert the subnet mask in binary, we'll be getting all ones in the first two octets and all zeros in the next two octets. Because the first two octets are 255 in decimal and the last two octets are zero in decimal. Let's now recollect the formula which is 2 power n. That is 2 power the number of zeros, 2 power the number of ones. If we see 2 power the number of ones, this is the total number of subnets we can get. Already we are familiar with this. In the previous examples we have seen 2 power how many number of ones we can see in the bits changed in the new subnet mask. That says the number of subnets, right? And 2 power number of zeros says the total number of hosts per subnet. So 2 power number of zeros means it's the total number of hosts per subnet and 2 power number of ones mean it's the total number of subnets. What is mentioned in this question? It's the total number of subnets required is 64. So in the question they want 64 networks, right? So how we can represent this 64? It's 2 power 6. So when we say 2 power 6, we can just correlate this with this. So how many number of ones we are going to reserve? It's 6 number of ones we are going to reserve. We know it's a class B subnet mask and we are going to use this class B subnet mask and convert this into a classless subnet mask. So obviously the bit changes will be there only in these two octets and to be precise, the total number of subnets required is 64. So 2 power 6 is the answer and obviously we are going to reserve 6 ones. Please note if we are going to deal with the subnetting based on host requirements, we need to reserve 6 zeros from the right. Whereas here it is based on the network requirement. So we are going to reserve 6 ones, but not from the right, but from the left. Because a valid subnet mask will be a consecutive ones, followed by consecutive zeros. So we are obviously going to reserve 6 ones from this place. Why from this place? Because it's a class B subnet mask and these two octets remain unchanged. And the bit modifications while subnetting will be in the third and fourth octets only. If it is a host requirement problem, the number of zeros to be reserved will start from the right. Whereas if it is a subnet problem based on network requirements, the bit reservation will start from the right. But here we are going to reserve ones. So we are obviously going to reserve six ones in this place. So obviously we are going to reserve six ones in the third octet. After we reserve six ones in the subnet mask, we obtain the new subnet mask. And what is that new subnet mask? It is 255.255.252.0 because if we convert this binary into decimal, we'll be getting 252. And that's it guys, we got the answer. The right answer is option D, 255.255.252.0. So before we conclude, if it is a subnetting problem based on host requirement, reserve zeros from the right. If it is a subnetting problem based on network requirement, reserve zeros from the left. Please note, the subnet mask plays a vital role here. And that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this lecture and thank you for watching.